fact that these palliative measures are targeted at the people at the bottom rung of the ladder, the, the, the low income earners. You know, uh, in, in my humble view, I, 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 I believe it will go a mile because like, it is a palliative. It is not a permanent solution. It is the cushion effect pending the efficacy of a permanent solution. So it, it, it will go a mile in, uh, in, in alleviating their living condition, the living condition of the masses. Okay. So um, I believe in the initiative and I'm confident of, uh, of course, its, its, its impact. Okay, some economists are, uh, say that if this money is channeled via the right directions to meet these poor households, that it will really, really help and go a long way. But people are actually worried, Nigerians are worried, that the monies may not, you know, really go to the right people who would need it. Of course, they said that um, they would use um, yardsticks, the kind of yardsticks to measure, yeah. check people's accounts, monitor it in the last six months or thereabouts to see the kind of funds that have entered. I have some dormant accounts where I do not have money in, you know. For example, they, they, they are worried that... Will this money actually get to the right people? Hopefully, it will not be siphoned by the people that who are asked to, you know, actually take care of this. What's your take on this? Mm, well, uh, these concerns are, are normal by by Nigerians. Um, well, you know, you see, uh, Nigeria is a country with system. Mm. And we, uh, we have a system that has a database. Okay. You know, uh, yeah, we, 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 the, the, the current Nigerian system, we, we have, uh, uh, I mean, the, the, the institution of the BVN, the institution of the NIN. I mean, uh, I, I believe the current administration would, uh, would explore this uh, data system, would explore this, these institutions, would e also explore, of course, uh, you know, uh, technology to ensure uh, to ensure that uh, it reaches uh, the target uh, demography. So I, I personally am, am, am confident that it would reach the target uh, uh, demography. All right. So okay. See, the NNPCL recently I started remitting into the federation account, mm -hmm. and of course we also got feelers that um, about 400 billion naira has been saved ever since the subsidy removal. And people have also argued that why can't that money be, be, be channeled into probably getting public buses? We have what we call the El Rufai here. We have what we call the BRT in Lagos. We have you know a lot of transportation uh, systems in many other states. So people are arguing that instead of you know sharing this money in bits and in crumbs, why can't you just channel it towards transportation, government-funded transportation from strategic places where people can actually take transport? That it will have direct positive impact instead of the 8,000 naira shared. What's your own take on that? Mm, well, uh, it's, you know, uh, uh, government works, governance works based on policy. Mm. You know, it's a policy direction. And, uh, of course, uh, I, I, uh, the, 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 the executive, the executive arm of the government, of course, uh, working in line with uh, the legislature, must have worked out, you know, uh, in preference, the priority of Nigerians and the priority as to administration of our resources. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, uh, still I am, uh, I, I beg to differ with, uh, with that opinion. You know, Nigeria, <coughs> no matter what... Uh, no matter what uh, the government does, no matter how laudable it is, you cannot please everybody. Yeah. You know, you cannot. What matters is uh, the, the the objectivity of the policy, the the, the 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 implementation and the execution of the policy. I yeah. think that's what we should focus on, and not whether the government should have, um, uh, you know, made the public transport uh, available and uh, you know, uh, bought by vehicles for 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 conveyance of uh, uh, Nigerians, you know. So uh, I think we should focus more on, um, on on implementation. I think we should focus more on implementation. And um, 
I, I, I believe uh, the, 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 the first subsidy, subsidy removal was also, you know, a, a policy direction to enable the government uh, 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 save more, to focus on other sectors that are important to Nigerians. And what are these sectors? We have the, the, the health sector, you know, we have the education sector, and we have so many other sectors. So we should not neglect these sectors and focus solely on oil. Mm. Uh, you know, so I, I, I beg to differ with uh, that opinion. Wherever uh, quarters of the uh, country it is coming from, then we should focus on implementation, objective uh, implementation. All right, so talking about education, recently mm -hmm. um, the high intuition was increased. And of course, it greeted a lot of. It was greeted by a lot of reactions from Nigerians, especially getting to prepare for another term, another fresh term. Now we have the increase in tuition fees. We have the increase in um, hiking for price and possible increase in the future. This is really biting hard on Nigerians. Of course, um, the prices in um, tariff was also argued that please step this down now. Do not increase the price in tariff. This is really having an effect. Even on our forex, is having an effect. How do you think that Nigerians can understand in such a way that you're understanding now that, okay, the government is going through a procedure, it will be better later, but how do you think Nigerians can pull through, knowing that everything is increasing, but the income is not increasing? Hmm. Well, I, um, uh, we are in a transition period, and every country has their transition period. Every country that we admire today, whether we like or passed through this phase. Mm. This is uh, it's, 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 uh, uh, a fleeting period. It's not a permanent period. You know, uh, uh, well, Nigerians should just try to, should, uh, to, to understand that um, this, 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 this policy, uh, this, this phase, is, is for the good of Nigeria, is for the good of Nigerians, is for the good of our generation, is for the good of the, 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 the generation to come. You know? uh, steps must be taken for, 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 for any country to, to develop. You know? And uh, I believe that we are, we are, of course, on the right course. Uh, we are taking the right step All towards, right. Uh, of course, towards uh, development. Okay, so yes. you know what we're going to do now? Okay. We're going to dissect the 500 billion naira, okay. it was, you know, allocated for um, five different scopes, five different areas. Mm -hmm. So we are going to carefully analyze each of it, starting from the big elephant in the room, the 70 billion naira for the National Assembly. It was a mark for the National Assembly to cushion the working conditions of new members. That is how it was simply put, mm -hmm. to cushion the working conditions of these new lawmakers. And Nigerians are saying that they are already financially okay. What are you going to use 70 billion naira to do? I got, um, I, I caught up with the spokesperson of the Senate, um, Senator Yemi Adaramodu, and he said that uh, this money is going to be used not only for the lawmakers, but the dependents, the cleaners, the workers, and a lot of things. But Nigerians are still saying 70 billion naira is just too much. For these, do they even actually need that palliative? What's your take on that? Well, uh, you see, uh, every system, every system takes care of their legislature. Mm. This is a lawmaking harm of the government. You know, uh, uh, they, 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 there's a need to ensure a good and adequate and at least uh, to 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 I mean to to a standard recognized mm. you know by the by the international community that the legislative harm is taken care of and just as you rightly said that um, as as you were informed by the distinguished it's 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 it includes all the staffs of the of, of the national assembly it includes all the staffs so Nigerians might have been misguided that it is meant for the lawmakers. You know, when uh, uh, Nigerians, uh, when Nigerians uh, hear that a particular, a particular sum has been earmarked for National Assembly, 
what goes on in their mind is the lawmakers. I mean, the, the National Assembly is, is bigger than the lawmakers. It's bigger than the lawmakers because those other staff are also important because without them, we cannot uh, have uh, you know the 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 the, the, the uh, 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 comprehensive you know the the, the, the the good loss that we have today. So uh, uh, the Nigerians just need to understand that it is not the legislators. The 70 billion is meant for National Assembly and all the staff of the National Assembly, and not necessarily the uh, 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 the the the, uh, the lawmakers. Hmm. Uh, so I did. Okay, so that. let's move to the next phase. Last yes. year, we saw a lot of states being devastated with floods. A lot of states were ravaged with floods, and it was something that, even if we didn't feel it physically, uh, we 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 condoned with the people who experienced this flood because a lot of houses were underneath this flood. It was even only the roofs showing, and a lot of Nigerians were displaced. Now, 185 mil million, was it million or billion? Million naira allocated for, to cushion this flood effects. Okay. We're in the rainy season. How do you think that this money, as usual, mm -hmm. would be able to help knowing that this should have, you know, taken place beforehand and not now? Mm. <coughs> well, um, you know, flood is, 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 is an emergency situation. And uh, recall, the 108 million naira is to cushion it is to amplify the efforts of the National Emergency Management Agency. Mm. So it is not, uh, 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 the, 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 the amelioration is not, I mean, the, the uh, uh, intervention is not based solely on the 108 uh, uh, the five billion. Uh, it's five uh, billion. It's billion. Billion, uh, yes. billion era, you know. So and, uh, I believe this, this would, I mean, go to in, the, to in a very large extent to 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 ameliorate uh, uh, yeah, the, the conditions of people in disaster. So I, I think it's it's a it's a brilliant uh, initiative. Okay, so let's go straight to agriculture. We know mm -hmm. the prices of food have always been skyrocketing. Yeah. I, for example, if I have the opportunity to go to the market, I buy things that I do not even want. The reason is because I do not know if with time okay. all these things would go up, you know. So I just stock up the house. I may not need this, but something just goes at the back of my mind that this may increase next week, okay. you know. So um, agriculture, the agricultural sector, as as, be, as you know, had a lot of times been intervened by the federal government. We've had donations of equipment. We've had anchor borrower. We've had a lot of interventions over time. But the agricultural sector is still the same. We cannot compare how much we buy rice in, let's say, two years ago or even one year ago um, compared to now. And Nigeria is the food basket. We have fertile ground. We have fertile everything. And now for the agricultural sector, 19.2 billion naira was enmarked for the agricultural sector. And it says this is to ameliorate the massive destruction of farmlands across the country just to ameliorate that are you seeing any you know change in in that amelioration mm -hmm. well um just as i um opined earlier it is an intervention towards towards amelioration it's an intervention it's 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 an initiative to further encourage the farmers hmm. it's an initiative to seek, I mean, to, to provide a kind of security. That, okay, despite your loss, yeah. you know, uh, we want to encourage you to 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 to, to continue mm. because uh, ag agriculture is like uh, the, the bastion of 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 of, uh, of uh, a, a fl I mean uh, a flying economy. Okay. Yeah, you know, without uh, agriculture, we we. I mean, the, the, the development might be hampered, and uh, this intervention on behalf of the farmers, you know, to motivate the farmers, the, despite uh, challenges, despite natural challenges that keep producing the food that we are eating, 
So I, I, I believe it would, um, it would uh, go a long way, or, uh, you know, it would go a long way in uh, impacting uh, uh, food security, it would go a long way in, in impacting uh, uh, agricultural production, and to go a long way in impacting the life of the farmers. All right, okay. Yes, yeah, so we still have a lot to talk about this evaluating the palliatives because there are still sectors that we need to dissect. But we would want to just go on this quick break. So when we come back, I still have a lot lined up to ask about these palliatives and how well it is going, how well it is going to be utilized. So we'll just go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we'll still be talking about the utilization of fuels of um, the palliative being meted out by the federal government to cushion the effect of fuel subsidy. Please do not change that down. We will be right back after this very quick break. Welcome back. Thanks for staying tuned. We've had, um, we have Babalola Abiodo, a legal practitioner, telling us about palliatives, the palliative that the federal government has, you know, put forward to make sure that Nigerians do not feel the harsh reality of the fuel subsidy removal. Out of the 500 billion being earmarked, we have a lot um, for agriculture sector. We have the Ministry of Works and Housing. We have for the National Assembly. And of course, we also have for the National Judicial um, Institute, that is what we're going to be, the council, that's what we're going to be talking about now, the judiciary. You know, Nigerians over the time, especially with this election, do not have any trusts in the judiciary anymore. And, you know, over time also in the Senate, the um, Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, have had several times complained about the money earmarked for the judiciary, saying that the welfare of judges, the welfare of the judiciary should be looked into. And out of these 500 billion being earmarked, we also have 30 billion, 35 billion naira for the National du Judicial Judicial Council. Council. So we're looking at this, 35 billion naira for the National Judicial Council. How well would this go for, you know, the judge and judges, justices who need to, you know, be up to speed with the current realities of law and justice? Mm, well, uh, first and foremost, I want to uh, correct an impression uh, with regards to the opinion and the attitude of Nigeria of, of Nigerians towards uh, judiciary. Where you said, especially with regards to the recently concluded election. I would uh, uh, like to say, as a legal practitioner, and based on what I see around, that um, the attitude is uh, positive. There's more, you know, more, believe more confidence, you know, uh, in the judiciary in, uh, in recent, uh, recent times. You know. Then uh, with regards to, of course, the 30 billion year marked to ameliorate, uh, uh, you know, lives of um, 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 uh, experts in the judicial sector. Uh, the, 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 the members, uh, you know, of the, the, the Nigeria, I mean, the Nigerian, the National Judicial Council is composed of Nigerians. It's composed of people. You know, and uh, uh, you will agree with me, you, we all know the importance of, of the judiciary in every, uh, uh, in every uh, uh, government, in every country, you know. So it, it's, it is indispensable and it is one of the most independent institutions. Just as I can tell you that the, the Nigerian uh, judiciary is also an independent institution. So to, to uh, this, this ameliorate, this intervention, given economic realities, is also important. It will solidify, of course, their, 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 their independence. It would concretize their independence. It, it would, uh, uh, it, it would, it shows that uh, there's, just, there's no reason to, 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 to pervert justice. There's no reason to, to, I mean, it shows that they are being well taken care of, just as it is in every other crime. You know, just as it is in every other crime. So I'm um, so much in support of, of, of the intervention on behalf of, of, of our lordships, of every member of uh, National Judicial Council. 
Okay, so do you feel that 35 billion um, naira out of 500 billion naira would be enough, you know, to address all these issues of um, the judiciary in terms of welfare? Because mm -hmm. I've known that a lot of times when the Senate committee, you know, comes up to bring up all these um, complaints about paucity of funds mm -hmm. in the judiciary mm -hmm. and a lot that needs to be addressed, 35 billion mm. out of 500 billion, you think that is enough? I record that it is a palliative. Mm. It is not, it does not affect their budgetary allocation. Mm. It's a palliative. So um, uh, uh, it is just uh, uh, to, to, to amplify mm. what is already uh, on ground. It's, it's just to provide support, to also cushion the effect of uh, the first subsidy removal and uh, of course the, the economic realities as it stands so i'm, I'm confident that uh, it would go i mean it's 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 it would be highly impactful it, it be highly impactful I'm okay confident. so lastly on this palliative the allocation of the palliative of course we're going to dwell on other issues of the palliative but 10 uh, the federal capital territory administration had an allocation of 10 billion naira they said it's for critical projects and I am just looking at critical projects. Of course, it wasn't dissected. The critical projects in question wasn't dissected. And I am looking at it like critical project for the FCTA administration. How would 10 billion, you know, ameliorate issues? Okay, we are a government who, you know, dwells so much on infrastructure and all of that. But when the belly is not filled, infrastructure will just beautify the place. It would not you know, do anything to the average man. So let's look at the 10 billion naira for FCTA, for critical projects, even though those critical projects were not detailed. How is that? Uh, uh, firstly, I will assume that critical projects uh, uh, could not all refer mm. to, of course, infrastructure. And um, infrastructural development is one of the channel of economic development because in the process of uh, of course building infrastructure mm -hmm. you create opportunities for people if nigerians are the ones doing the work nigerians are the ones being paid a lot of families are being fed it uh, booms of course uh, the economy it increases the purchasing power of nigerians it makes money available it, it makes money circulate so the, the so the 10 billion for critical uh, project in the fct uh, it's 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 also a brilliant uh, a brilliant uh, initiative. Mm. It's a brilliant initiative. Uh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm confident that uh, uh, most of these problems of this contract would also be awarded. Let's take note that to uh, be awarded to, to, to Nigerian companies. Mm. It's to be awarded to Nigerian companies, and uh, in the course of that, uh, money money keeps circulating, and uh, uh, the economy keeps. Uh, keeps booming. It, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant initiative. All right, okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Babalola Abiodun. Babalola Abiodun is the <coughs> National Legal Advisor and National Secretary, Secretary FOJI. Thank you for, you know, coming on the show to dissect issues on fuel <coughs> subsidy removal. You know, it is not news that it is really biting hard among yes. Nigerians. Everybody, everybody's feeling it because you're paying mm -hmm. about three to four times more than you were yeah. paying before. Thank you for coming on the show. You're and welcome. this is where we will we'll be drawing our curtains today on News Up Extra. Join us same time next week and also join um, the News Up on Silverbird 20, News 24 on Monday. That is where we will be drawing the curtains today. I remain at Sinuke Tokura Nuke. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.